Hi everyone, hope you all are doing good. Today I am back with another new topic that is synthesis. In this session I am going to discuss about what is synthesis, different types of synthesis and the inputs that are required for synthesis. So without any further delay, let's get started. So what is synthesis? Synthesis is basically is a process to convert RTL code into get level netlist. So we know that designers will give us the RTL codes and RTL codes are written in HTL like Verilog or VHDL which basically captures the uh, desired behavior of the design. That means it basically contains the functionality information of the design and those information in RTL code we will convert those RTL codes into a single get level netlist. So we know there will be multiple RTL files and we are going to optimize them and generate one single get level netlist. So there are two types of synthesis. One is logical synthesis, another is physical synthesis. First we need to do logical synthesis then only physical synthesis is possible. So for logical synthesis we need to see that the tool needs three basic things. One is RTL, another is uh, the constraints and third is the, uh, the library, logical libraries which have the timing and power and idea information. So there's three inputs that we require for logical synthesis. So first the tool will try to read the RTL and will analyze whether all the RTL files are correct or not. So if any syntax errors or any kind of warnings the tools are going to report that means some issues are happening with the RTL linking. Sometimes we will get some linking issues also. So that happens if we are missing any of the RTL files. Once the RTL read, once the RTL is properly read and analyzed and if there is no error then the tool will proceed for the next stage. In next stage the tool will try to translate the design into generic design. So there will be a generic library that means which is not technology dependent library. So it is not depending on any of the technology nodes like let's say 22 nanometer, 40 nanometer. It is not dependent on any of the, any of the particular technology node. So it is just the general one. So the tool will try to translate the design into the general uh, library. And once it is translating the design into general library, all the cells are getting translated into generic cells. Once we are having the generic cells, tool will try to map these generic cells to the targeted technology. So whatever the particular specific technology we are using, so that particular technology it will get mapped. All the cells will get mapped to that particular technology. Once it is done, the tool will go for the logic optimization followed by design optimization. Design optimization means it will try to optimize based on to uh, we know right we have to get optimum ppa that's the main uh, motto of doing vlsi design flow so power performance and area we should have the optimum desired value so this design optimization is done to achieve optimum ppa once all the stages are done for logical synthesis it will generate get level netlist so this get level netlist will contain all the uh, all the logical cell informations, all the uh, logical element informations and their connectivity informations. Once we are having these informations, these informations we can feed into the PNR tool. So whatever place and route tool will be there, that is the backend tool for physical design, whatever tools will be there, we have to give this logical get level netlist as the input for that PNR tool. Then with that get level netlist, physical synthesis we are going to do. So with the get level netlist, floor plan is going to be done. And after the floor plan stage, it is going to generate the output as in form of DAV file. So DAV file basically contains all the physical information now. So whatever we have the logical information in the netlist. Now after doing this floor planning, we are having the physical information. So till floor plan stage, we'll have the macro placement, IO placement, uh, blockages, die area, all these informations will be given in this DAV file. 
once we are having this def file again we'll go to the synthesis tool and we'll feed this def file as a input so when we are giving input as def file this time we are giving the physical information also so if we are running synthesis with this physical information that means it is now generating it is now going to help us directly to generate physical layout so the main motto of physical synthesis is to get the physical layout so logical synthesis will give us the netlist and with physical synthesis we will be able to get the physical layout because we are giving the physical information to the synthesis tool now so with that we are going to proceed for the synthesis again second round of uh, iterations will be done and that second round will be the physical synthesis so the main advantage of this physical synthesis is that it gives better ppa result it is uh, it gives better uh, correlation with the pnr tool so whatever uh, timing correlation timing based correlation like whatever timing we are seeing in synthesis we are going to see same kind of or maybe nearby closer results in pnr tool so that's why this physical synthesis is advantageous to the designers once physical synthesis is done for the synthesis tool then it will go for the physical design full place and route flow till post route optimization it will do and it will generate physical layout i'll make another clear video for this logical synthesis and physical synthesis in a elaborate way let's look into the inputs that are required for synthesis so first as we told we need rtl codes so rtl code will be the most primary input that is needed for synthesis and we know that the prime rtl codes are written in hardware description language that is htl which are like very commonly used verilog or vhdl which basically contains the functionality of the design that means the behavior of the design is known to us from this rtl codes and it also contains the uh, information like number of modules ports instances and their connections and there will be multiple rtl files for a hierarchical design where our multiple blocks will be there uh, for a top chip level uh, top chip level kind of design hierarchical design we need multiple rtl codes and if any of the file is missing the tool the synthesis tool is going to report linking error next is constraints file so this constraints files are nothing but it contains a set of rules that basically tells us which where for which of the attributes you need to give constraints like we know we have timing power and area these three are the main concerned attributes that need to be uh, fixed in vlsi design so we are giving the constraints for these three attributes mostly like timing constraints we are giving like we are mentioning the clock definitions all the latency uncertainty set up uncertainty hold uncertainty input output delay all these informations will be given also we are mentioning the multi cycle paths uh, false paths half cycle paths if there are any all these informations will be given in the constraint file also we are mentioning there the power targets the area requirements all these informations are given on this constraint file so this constraint file is very important and it basically guides the synthesis tool to achieve the optimized get level netlist next comes upf file so only if we are having multiple power domain inform power domains in our design then only we need this upf file so this upf file that is unify unify unified power format file so it contains power domain informations so whatever power domains are there whether they are always on or uh, they are multi voltage so whatever the power intents are there or if there are any low power design techniques that are used or low power design cells are used all these informations will be given on this upf file next comes logical library or the dot lib file we also call it as liberty timing file so this file basically contains the timing and power information regarding all the standard cells all the cells standard cells sequential like all the combinational and sequential cells so it basically it contains the timing model which has the cell delay information setup and hold time requirements also we need to know that this library is generated by there are certain characterization format for this library generation 
so like ccs uh, ecsm nldm these are some of the formats of dotli file so you using this any of this uh, like depending on the technology node we go for any of this categorization uh, library format and with this we are generating this dotli file there will be separate dotli files for every pvt corner so we know that for time for the different pvt corner for different pvt corners we will have different timing of the cells so since timing of the cells are different so we should have different dotli files for every pvt corner and also this file contains all the power area characteristics informations and also it contains all the unit uh, defined in that file so for time voltage leakage capacitance resistance whatever units we are using all the unit descriptions all the unit main uh, definitions are mentioned there in that file and it also contains some of the standard cell information uh, standard cell information like uh, the logical cells which has different drive strength so all the varied drive strength based logical cells information will be there uh, number of inputs based uh, different number of inputs based logic cells information are there uh, there will be inverters and buffers which has equal rise and fall delays there will also be available complex cells all kind of complex cells like oai aoi uh, also there are uh, informations like all the flip flop like different positive and negative wage to get free flops with different drive strength all these informations are present in this dot leaf file next comes physical library or the library exchange format that is dot leaf file so it contains all the physical informations so it basically this like uh, this library basically gives us the information about the abstract view of the cells so it will give us the information like what is the geometry boundary metal layer via pin position all these informations all what all uh, metal layer related informations like width pitch channel spacing between uh, any uh, between the macros all these informations will be given in this file also it will have design rule uh, design rules mentioned in this file like max fan out max capacitance max length uh, also the macro related informations like the dimensions the blockages that we need for macros uh, the capacitance the antenna factor these informations are given in this physical library this physical library we mainly use for only when we are going for physical synthesis that time only we need this dot leaf file otherwise we don't need next is dev file design exchange format so dot dev is the format so with as i told with uh, get level net list we are going to feed it into the pnr tool and pnr tool is going to perform the floor plan once the floor planning stage is done that means once the macro placement io placement uh, all the power structures are done after that it will generate this dev file so it is the output of a floor plan stage so this file will contain the physical information associated with the logical elements like macros io blockages the die area information and this informations are very much required to estimate accurate track delays so once we are having this information and if we are giving it to the synthesis tool synthesis tool will be much more aware about the physical information that how the macro placements are going to happen what is the size of the macro what is the uh, uh, in which power domain the macros are going to place so all these informations will be known by the synthesis tool so synthesis tool can be more accurately it can perform now it can more accurately uh, give us the gate level netlist it can give us a more accurate connectivity information in the netlist so that's why we use this dev file which actually helps in giving uh, getting us better ppa and also it will help to get us better timing correlation with the pnr tool better time around time that means uh, better turn around time sorry it will be turn around so uh, that means so less number of iterations are required to optimize ppa so if we are having this physical information before itself the tool can easily try to optimize with one iteration itself and this dev file we can generate in different stages of physical design last is table lookup file 
So this table lookup file will contain the parasitic information. That means the RC delay or the RC coefficient information for that particular technology. So every technology will have their own uh, uh, parasitic values, right? RC values. So those will be mentioned in this lookup table. So this is a lookup table which basically contains uh, all these RC value informations and the wire cap at different net length and spacing. So for different net length, what will be the capacitance? Uh, what will be the uh, uh, spacing? All these informations, the interconnect details basically. All these informations will be there in this lookup table. And this RC or the parasitic information is required for net delay calculation. So when we are going for the static timing analysis, we need this net delay calculation, uh, net delay calculation to generate path delay calculation. That's why we need this lookup table. And there we will also get uh, RC parasitic values for different corners and different scenarios. So this synthesis we will be doing mostly for uh, mostly in two of the uh, tool set. Uh, that is from Cadence we can use Genus. From Synopsys we can use DC. These two are the majorly used tools. Thanks for watching this video. Do like and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Do comment down below your feedback on this video and share it as much as possible with your friends, colleagues and VLSI aspirants. See you next time. Till then, stay tuned and stay safe.